Ohio woman Kelly McGreevy was turned away from a tanning salon because of her weight. As reported by WKYC Channel 3 News, Kelly purchased a month of unlimited tanning at Aloha Tanning in Norton, Ohio after a pleasant experience in a stand-up bed and returned the next day for another session. However, she was told that the stand-up bed could not be used because it was being relamped and she could not use the traditional lay-down beds because of a new 230-pound weight limitation policy they had implemented. Look at this employee, Nicole, responded to WKYC's inquiries with deft sincerity. We do have a lot of bigger people that come in here, and they know that they they can't go into the lay-down beds because they're so, no, they're bigger. Compassionate. The salon said they had experienced damage to the bed's acrylic surfaces caused by heavy individuals. Kelly asked to see the written policy but was denied, and she also asked for a refund of the nearly $70 she paid for the tanning package, but was told there were no refunds. Aloha tanning? More like aloha money. <laughs> Get it? You, you need to first understand that aloha can mean both hello and goodbye. In this case, its intended use is goodbye. <laughs> oh, aloha money, classic. Kelly said she was speaking out to warn potential aloha tanning customers, adding, I mean, maybe there are people that have come here before or that are going to come here that are overweight and... And I just want them to know that you could be mistreated. Because of WKYC story, Aloha Tanning took to Facebook with an emotionally charged missive saying, Aloha Tanning and tanning salons in general seem to have a problem with people overstepping their bounds. People attempt to bring children and leave them unattended. Teenagers sit and carry on for long periods of time. People come out from behind locked doors, scantily clad for who knows what reasons. People urinate in trash cans and destroy private property for little to no reason at all. Others like to argue with the staff about company policies as if they were at a swap meet. Unattended children, teenagers carrying on, people urinating in trash cans? This sounds like the worst spring break party of all time. At the end of their Facebook statement, they wrote, Aloha Tanning apologizes for any hurt feelings that may have arisen from the notification of manufacturers' suggested weight limits. We have made exception to our no-refund policy in your case in spite of this undesirable outcome, and we are currently working on putting our weight limit policies in writing to be added along with our verbal instruction of how to use a tanning bed and our general liability and informed consent forms. So, looks like Aloha Tanning worked things out with McGreevy. Now all they need to do is stop describing their own business in such an awful way.